Well, March 1st means a lot of things for basketball, but here in Lincoln, it marks day one of the girls' state tournament. Quarterfinal games at both Pinnacle Bank Arena and the Devaney Center started this morning. We start things off at PBA in one of the final games of the day, Lincoln High versus Millard West. First quarter, links up 13-9. Anaya Hicks-Robinson gets the seal, takes it coast to coast for the score, links up 15-11. Second quarter now, Wildcats keeping it close. Nora Gesser gets it on the wing, makes a move, and knocks down the jumper as Millard West makes it a two-point game, 26-24. to Before the half, Lynx take a shot and they miss it. Kiana Wiley attempts the putback, but she can't connect. Finally, it's Niawarga Jock successful at the buzzer. Huge as the Lynx go up 28-24 in the halftime. Fourth quarter now, Lincoln ahead 46-43. Looking to extend their lead, Divine Harris finds Hicks Robinson for the corner three to add to her 16 points on the night. Lincoln's looking to seal it as Harris comes up with the steal, passes it to Kiana Wiley for the daggers. Lincoln High is semifinals bound with the win over Millard West. Special, you know, they've, they've wanted this for a long time. We've been working at it. Um, it wasn't pretty or perfect, um, but we found a way. And at this time of year, that's the most important thing. We stick together and we started to make our shots more, be more confident, take our time, and we just got there. I'm feeling really confident. I feel like we can take on Miller North. Sticking with Class A, Miller North versus North Star. This is the Navigators' first state appearance in school history. Second quarter, Navs trying to keep it close. Down 19-12, Annie Liu corrals the steal, drives to the basket for the and one. Nice play by the freshman to cut the deficit 19-14. Things are close at half now. A Miller North on top 26-22. In the second half, though, it was all Miller North. Off the back of not one, not two, but three straight three-pointers from Sarah Harley to add to her 15 points tonight as the Mustangs get the win 54-37. Now Lincoln Southwest taking on Millard South in a rematch of last year's semifinal game. Kennedy Williams holding down the fort for her mom at PBA who's away at the Big Ten tourney with the Huskers. First quarter though was all Patriots. Chloe Lemon with the basket off the steal. Then the ensuing Hawks inbound is stolen and Lemon scores again to put Millard South up by 12. Hawks still fighting in the second quarter. Williams slips inside and flips in the bucket. But it was the Patriots who dominated this one. UNO commit Cora Olsen lays it in, then steals the inbound and scores again as Millard South defeats Lincoln Southwest 74-58. to Next up in C1, fourth-seeded Wahoo against fifth-seeded Malcolm. Pick it up in the third quarter. Wahoo down by 10. Trying to change that, Sammy Liu hits the triple to cut into Malcolm's lead. Then, with the time winding down in the third quarter, Malcolm freshman Holly Dolliver lays it in. She had 19 points, 14 rebounds, and three blocks for the Clippers today. Fourth quarter, Alyssa Fortek driving inside for two as the Clippers take the 36-27 lead. They hold on to win as Malcolm avenges a pair of close regular season losses to the Warriors to advance. And number two, Bridgeport taking on number seven, Lincoln Christian in Class C. This one was a back and forth affair from the start. First quarter, Crusaders down by five. Jessa Huser knocks down the three to make it a two-point game. And yeah, she is just a freshman playing today. Late in the second, LC leading 26-21. Bridgeport's Mackenzie Lycos tries for three, misses. Ella Schulterbush is there for cleanup to Olivia loomis Goddle, who gets the layup inside. Bridgeport down 27-25 going into half. Second half, Kennedy Ailes with it on the wing, swings it over to Lauren Swan, who drives to mid-range and finds Ailes for the layup. She finished with 29 points today. LC leading by one. Fourth quarter, Bridgeport leading now. Loomis Goddle grabs the miss and drives up the floor for the bucket. The foul on Lincoln Christian. They fought hard, but they fall to Bridgeport tonight. And a look at some of the other games going on in the quarterfinals. They have now come to an end. Teams who won today are now one step closer to a state title, playing in the semis on Friday. No crazy upsets today, but schools like UTAN and North Bend, Gothenburg and Adams Central all keep it very close. 